All right, hello, hello, hello. This is your Trading Crypto Channel coming at you. It's December 27th, 2021. All right, so we're still holding steady. We made it through Christmas. No crazy dumps. Um, I, I think I think we're looking at a good, solid um, Q1 of 2022. Um, past that, I don't know. A lot of my sources, a lot of my observations everything to me is saying that crypto is going to be doing very well q1 past that i don't know for me i'm going to be probably edging out of the market on a timeline basis kind of dollar cost averaging out um but i'm waiting for a you know parabolic blow off top or some kind of a great increase um but right now uh, bitcoin is it's battling with the 21 week moving average which is to be expected um once we top on that thing, uh, it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be home clear, I think. Um, but I mean, if we do get a stern rejection from here, and uh, say we go up, wick up, and then come back down hard, we could go to 30k. Not predicting that at all. I don't I think that's very unlikely. 10% chance of that happening. Um, you know, the stock market would have to crash, and that's the only way that would happen. Um, not saying that can't happen, but it's unlikely at this point. Um, everyone's taking their profits in December, um, tax loss, harvesting, uh, just taking money out for Christmas. That's that's why we had that big dip. It all makes sense now. Um, on the Heikinashi can candles, we're getting our first green stick. So it's just, if you look at these uh, trends, I mean, once you get first get that green one, you're at least going to have a few more, right? So we're probably going to head on up. If I had to guess, you know, come up to this, uh, you know, we're in a descending uh, ascending triangle of sorts. We've had a fake fake out, came back down. So maybe we come up to here to 56, 59. Hey, maybe we even come up to 60, 65 again or something and have rejection. Either way, I mean, I, I see us waving up and then fall back down to maybe this uh, Fibonacci support at 50. Uh, well, where is that support? Maybe even back right here at some point. Um, depending, depending how like crazy it gets here. So. We'll see what happens. I have you know, a lot of confidence in the market right now. Um, I wouldn't freak out too much. I am trying to take a little bit of profit just because of this year. The tax tax law may change next year, so you might want to spread out some of your gains and uh, profit taking amongst two tax seasons like I am. Not financial advice. That's just what I do. You don't know what's going to happen. You know. They're probably going to get so desperate for money. They're on tax every crypto person for everything they got. Hope not. Um, one thing I was looking at really curiously, and yeah, altcoins are bouncing very well. Alt, um, Bitcoin dominance is falling. It's altcoins are really kind of taking the lead. Um, let's see. Total market cap. Those are, these charts are looking really good. Now, the total market cap, including Bitcoin, has held the 21-week moving average. And we're it's just beautiful. Just beautiful. We're getting this nice bounce. Yeah, I, I see it's coming on up here. And maybe coming back down to retest 21-week. I mean, we could have a, a very lengthened cycle, like Benjamin Cohen was saying. But yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, we just don't know how long this is going to go. But this looks really good. Very promising that we're going to get bounced off the 21 week. That's a confirmation of that the bull market is still preserved. I, I, that just looks like so good to me. Um, let's see. The, the, 20, the total market cap, excluding Bitcoin, looks even better. It's just, God, it just, just looks good. Looks very good. I'm looking, I mean, for me, I, I think we're hitting a 4 to $5 trillion market cap minimally. Maybe we even go ten trillion for the total market cap. Um, and this is excluding Bitcoin, but I did make a projection on the total. It should be on the chart. Let's take a look. Well, it may not load. Yeah, it's still there. Let's see. Take a look at it. Yeah, so just some of my roundabout predict predictions. Just, just losing using my patterns. Um, yeah, minimally, yeah, I'm looking like yeah, 3.8, 4, 4 to 5 trillion just make, makes a lot of sense to me. You look at the Fibonacci extensions, yeah, 5, 7, uh, yeah. <laughs> For me, it just everything looks very good. Um, 
I don't think there's going to be a lot of money pouring into the market until really January. Um, yeah, up until spring, I think everyone took their profits and everything into the last quarter. And they have a bunch of money they're sitting on waiting for the next quarter to start. So a lot will be told in the next couple of weeks. I'm thinking of a good January, so let's hope that that continues. Um, just look at some support, key support levels. Um, on the VPVR, we're seeing, let's see, give this a second. Yeah. And we're seeing like really good support down. I mean, right, we're really on top of really solid support in the VPVR. Coming on down daily. Yeah. I mean, we're, the fact that we came up with 47, 47.5 was really what we want to hold on to. Um, that was like a really key level of uh, VPVR support over here. But now we're going to start battling with some of this stuff in the fifty-five to sixty thousand dollar range, and uh, I think I think we're going to get it. So just uh, just gotta stay strong and persevere. And I think everything will be all right. Just want to do a quick update. Uh, the bull market support band seem to be holding twenty-one week moving average on the total market cap is good. Just need Bitcoin to claim its own, and we'll be solid. All right, you guys have a good one. Peace.